scalar anonymous functions. A function may not have any name. So, how to write that function and how to call it when the function is having no name, then how to call that function. So, that is very in interesting. So, let us discuss this scalar anonymous function with one sample code, explanation and execution. So, let us go for the demonstration right now. In this session, we are discussing anonymous functions in Scala. So, anonymous functions from the very name, it is quite obvious that this function will not have any name. So, anonymous functions in Scala is lightweight syntax to create a function in one line of code. And as the function is not having any name, so it, is, it will be very interesting for us to know that how to define such function and how to invoke such function. So, anonymous functions are the function literals and at runtime they instantiate into objects called the function values and these objects are nothing but similar kind of object which you create under the string or int. So, here we have defined one anonymous function. So, val sum is equal to here this function has got no name obviously it is anonymous and it has got one uh, two input parameters. So, x of the type int, y of the type int and it returns x plus y. So, how to invoke such function? In that case, we will be writing in this way sum 20, 30. So, if you write this one, this one, then obviously 20 will be assigned to x and 30 will be assigned to y in the runtime and then x plus y. So, 20 plus 30. So, we are expecting 50 will be coming out. So, now let me execute my code. So, I am just doing the code available in the interactive shell here. Now, how to invoke this particular function? So, here you see the function has got defined with two input parameters of type int and it returns int as output. And whenever we invoke this function using this sum within bracket 20, 30, I am getting the output as 50 here. So, in this way, this particular function, anonymous function can be created and can be invoked. Here in this case, we can write some other statements if I require to do so. So, here you see we have written uh, two statements are there within one block and then the value which will be returned will be the last expression that is a here we are having x plus y. So, if I execute the same then what will be the output in that case. So, here you see we are getting this output as hello and then world and then sum of 20 and 30. So, let me uh, show you that how to define one anonymous function which has got no input argument and also it does not return anything. So, in that case we will be writing in this way. So, val f is equal to only this particular first bracket opening and first bracket closing. It indicates that it has got no input argument and also it returns nothing. So, it prints only this particular line that is a hello world. So, if I execute this code, then obviously we are going to get the output as print hello. That is a hello world will get printed. So, in this session, we have discussed that what is anonymous functions in Scala and how to create that one and how to invoke it. Thanks for watching this video.